Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, we want to find the linear regression line using our TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator. Now, in this example, we also want to take things just a little bit further to see if we can use that linear regression line to predict some future values that our data might have. Okay? So let's go ahead and grab the graphing calculator and have some fun with this data. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically get all of this data into my calculator. In order to do that, you want to press your stat button right here. Have the first option selected that says edit and press enter. Now here's where you can enter in your X and Y data in each of these lists. So I'm going to go 0, enter, 10, enter, 25, enter, and 50, enter. And it basically enters in all of my X data. Now if you arrow over with the right arrow button, it'll go to list 2 and you can type in the next column of data. Perfect. So basically all of our data is now stored inside of the calculator. Now if you want to see what this data looks like, let's go ahead and set up our scatter plot by going to second stat plot. plot. Hopefully the first option is selected that says plot once. We'll press enter. Let's go ahead and press enter one more time to turn it on. We'll make sure that it is set to scatter plot and that it is pulling the, the data from list 1 and list 2 and we'll make our mark the boxes. Alright, that looks good. Now let's adjust our window so that it displays our data properly. So I'm going to choose, let's say, between negative 10 and 60 so I can see all of my x values and I'll choose Y values between, say, 0 and 5. There we go. Let's go ahead and press graph to see what this data looks like. All right, perfect. Now, basically, I want to form a best fit line through these data points. In order to do that, let's go to our stat option one more time. But this time, let's arrow over until we have calc selected. So here's where we can do all kinds of things with this data. I'm going to select number 4 for the linear regression line. So have that selected and press enter. Now we have to tell the, the calculator what data we want it to use. Remember that we have all of our data stored into list 1 and list 2. Now you can find that usually above your buttons. So I'm going to press my second button and the number 1 for list 1, comma, my second button and the number 2 for list 2. So that basically is telling the calculator, you know, pull the data from list 1 and list 2. Now I'm also going to give it a third option to tell it to store this line into the calculator in Y1. Now to do that, I'm going to press my variables button, arrow over for my Y variable variables, and press 1 for function. So I want Y1 selected, press enter, and there you go. So literally what this is telling the calculator is to do the linear regression using the data stored in list 1 and list 2 and once it has that line, store that line in Y1. Alright, that's quite a bit. Well, let's press enter and see if the calculator can handle it. Alright, there we go. It looks like it built the line for us just fine. So here it's displaying the coefficients of that line like the slope and the y-intercept and it looks like it's also giving us the correlation coefficient, you know, about how good a fit that line is. If you press your Y equals button, you can see that it, it has also stored this equation under Y1. Now that's really good because now if we take a look at our graph by pressing graph, it not only displays the data, but also displays this best fit line. That's kind of neat. Now, one good advantage to having the calculator store this function in there is that we can make predictions about future values that are not even on our data points. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to go press second and quit and return to my home screen. Now what if I want to make a prediction as to what my values for say x equals 75 will be? Well as long as I have that linear model kind of stored in there, I can have it make that prediction. To pull that uh, function back up one more time, I'm going to press my variables, go to y variables, have one selected for function, press enter, and enter one more time for y1. Now I'm going to feed it this input of 75. Parentheses, 75, close parentheses. 
So this is telling the, the computer to take the x equals 75, plug it into our linear regression line, and give us the output. Press enter, and it looks like according to that linear regression line, it predicts this to be about 1.2. All right, and there you go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.